Hello everyone and welcome back to Do Wisdom. This is a continuation video of my previous video in which I taught you the beginning of how to solve the cross of a Rubik's Cube. In this video I'm gonna teach you guys how to solve the first two layers that is F2L using the Friedrich method. So let's get right to it. So this is the cross where I left it and uh, now we are supposed to solve the first two layers that means this area is supposed to be green, this area is supposed to be orange and so on on all the four sides. We don't have to worry about the last layer in this video because that's for OLL and PLL. And so the first thing that you have to keep in mind is in F2L you don't have to put individual pieces as you did before in the beginner's method. In the beginner's method if you remember you first kept the corner piece in its place then you kept the right edge piece after that. This is very time consuming if you compare it to F2L because in F2L you do that simultaneously. So let's see how it's done. Well I'm going to cover as many cases as I can so let's see. Okay so suppose that we have to first uh, put these two pieces in place that is the green, green and orange pieces. So first thing we have to look for is the green and orange and white corner piece. So I see that it's over here. Okay. So this piece we know is to go over here, which shouldn't be a problem. We just have to keep it in place and put it down, but we don't want that because here we are looking to put not just this, but the edge piece that is the orange and green edge piece which is somewhere over here. Yeah, it's over here. So we want this and this to come together so that we can put both of them in the right orientation in the right place so that it saves our time. So you need to remember two things in F2L. Now I think that personally uh, I haven't actually seen this in any other video so I'm gonna tell this it might actually be useful to you. Well when I, whenever you're solving F2L the first thing you should know is that the two pieces that is the corner piece that should be in place and the edge piece that you want with it should form an L that is you know this L like figure now you'd say how is it an L well the corner piece and the edge piece and all the pieces that come within it should form an L so all you have to do is close in the gap that is remove these both places pieces from it and put it in the right position now another thing for you to notice right now is if you are uh, trying to place the pieces as in making a cross on the white side of the cube so you have you will have the corner piece with a white color in it that's pretty much obvious so if you're having a piece a corner piece with the white color on it all you have to do is ignore the white color of that piece when I say that I mean that first you have to find the corner piece that goes in that place you don't have to worry about how you have to put it in that place first first you have to ignore that white color after you have ignored that white color, on, you only have to see these both colors, that is green and orange. Why do I say that? Now, let's get into it. When we see only green and orange, we notice that this goes from, I'd say, right to left. That's like that, right? If the color was green and orange and white, we'd ignore the white. We'd only see green and orange. So that make it go like that. I'm gonna come that. I'm gonna I'm gonna come to that. So don't worry. You don't need to be confused. So first thing is we should know that this piece should rotate like that for it to come for the for these both pieces to come together. So how do we do that? Now when you hold it like this, when you hold the cube like this, you'll notice that green is in front of you and orange is on the top. When this is the case, it's well pretty much simple. Just rotate it on the opposite side, bring it together, bring it back up. You'll notice that these boot pieces are together. You don't need to worry like I did it too fast or whatever. I'm gonna do more cases so don't worry. Now comes the placing. Now how do you place these both together in the right position? This is fairly easy as well. All you have to do is bring the piece on top of uh, where it has to go. But this way it won't actually come in its place, right? So we turn it one more time. Now we rotate the first front. We 
rotate it again put it down it's in its place this is forming a green orange and white big cube right this is this is a QB and this has formed yet another cube we have to do this one more time for all the other pieces that makes it one one and one we have to do it three more times so we now go on to the next color that is orange and orange and blue and white of course so first we look at the corner piece that goes with it and we see it right over here so now that we know this piece has to go over here we have to now find the edge piece of blue and orange color and I see it over here now this is not in the top layer so first we have to bring it to the top layer without disturbing this cube that we have formed because we don't want this to get scrambled again because this can waste a lot of our time so we have one in on the top layer we want both the pieces in the top layer because remember we wanted to form an L so we just bring it to the top because this is not disturbing the previously formed cube in any other way so we just bring it to the top rotate it bring it to the bottom again because we don't want the cross to be scrambled as well so now we have the L as you notice over here this is the corner piece and this is the edge piece so this forms an L again an inverted one so whatever so what do you do after that in this case another thing you have to notice is as I said you have to ignore the white color and this is just what I told you guys to hypothetically think in the previous case when I said that I'd come to that later on this is the exact same case that we were talking about before so we have to ignore the white color and we see that this blue and orange so we know that if the line is going like this when we ignore this the line should go like this right if the colors are from top to bottom the whole row has to move like that now in F2L in order to make it easier you have to use the process of extensive elimination that is you eliminate the moves that are not possible in this case you first eliminated all the other moves with only two moves remaining that is either it goes like this or it goes like this that is either it goes clockwise or anti-clockwise but we want we can do only one right because still there's doubt which one is it now as again the cube that we have formed is not in either of them we are free to do whichever way we want it to do but still we want one move which one is it to know that we look at the topmost colors in this case it is blue and blue that is both of them are same all you have to do is bring it towards you because either it moves like this or like this remember so we just bring it towards us if the colors are same you turn it towards you of course and then you bring it back pretty obvious we have formed the pair now in order to be in order to place it at top of the place that you want it to be placed at if this is the row of three pieces and two are already in pair this one is not in pair so you want to bring this piece above the piece where these both pair has to go so you do that with one turn that piece which can be changed in the throw in the row of three is directly above that corner piece which needs this this pair to go in the place so in order to place it it's pretty simple again you just twist it join the whites with the whites it goes in place and there we have it one side is solved at least the first two layers of that side are and in the process of solving these uh, these six colors two of the blue and two of the greens were solved as well so we have one cube and another cube we'll have one over here and we'll have yet another one over here so what to do when both the pieces are together and only one of them is in the topmost layer because you want both of them to be in the topmost layer so the first thing you have to do is break them apart because if they were already apart and if one of them was in the topmost layer and the other wasn't then you think of like you know bringing them together but if they're already together you first need to break them apart because you first need to form an L remember you want an L and this way it won't be an L even if you bring it on the top layer you can do that right but you don't want to do that so to break them apart it's fairly simple enough you just twist the layer first then you bring it to the top then you twist it again then you go back to the bottom now you have an L because this is the corner piece this is the edge piece that goes with it so this forms an L fairly easy now 
as I said, this corner piece has to go here. So you have to bring this corner piece above the place where it has to go to. So directly bring it towards it, to, on top of it. So yeah, here it is. See, here still we have the L, right? And the corner piece is above the corner piece where you want it to go to. Now you have to form the pair. Okay, so this is the third uh, category that you can find. This is the last category that you can find uh, while solving the cube. And that is when the color is at the top and the other color is at the right side. So it goes from top to the right. Top to the right. That means from this side to the right. This is how it's going to move. You always look at the cornermost piece. You don't look at the edge piece. So don't be confused. Because as I already said, you ignore the white. You look at the colors and according to the colors the direction to move is this. But this time the case is a bit different. Of course what I told you before won't work this time so what do we do? Well let's see. Twist it one more time because these both pieces are free. So you can turn it in whichever direction you want it to without a care in the world because it can just not be disturbing any of the previously formed cubes. So now you know that it has to go either clockwise or anti-clockwise and you know that the, both the colors are different so one way to solve it is first turn it once bring it to the position then turn it twice that forms the pair now you have these this pair and this is a piece that can be this is the piece can that can be changed and you have to place these two pieces at the right place that is this place and of course when you move these two this is going to be moved as well because these three pieces are in the same row so now what you have to do is first bring it on top of the layer which you want it to be placed at but of course you don't want these to be separated again because if you bring this to the bottom these both will be separated so in this row of three you choose the piece that can be changed and bring it on top of the piece that you want it to be put at then you rotate the full layer because now you can rotate in whichever way and the square won't be disturbed so you just match the white with the white paste it back it's almost solved well in this case we are going to shift this piece from directly above the piece which we wanted to be which one which we wanted it to be placed at we change it to this direction while still looking at the L that we have the L is here, right? And the piece and the place where we want the piece to go is right over here. So it can go towards the place like that. So now do we, now what do we do? Now we can move it in whichever direction we want, but the whole the side cannot be moved in this direction because this would spoil our square. So the only direction possible is this. So by the process of extensive elimination, we have come to know that only clockwise is possible so we do that we turn clockwise we then turn the upper layer we then turn it anti-clockwise and look nothing is disturbed and we have the pair formed then we turn it again we uh, turn the right side of the cube we place it join the white with the white and there we have it all the uh, first two layers of all the sides of the cube has been solved that is the four uh, blocks of the, all the colors but the only thing left for us is to solve the last side of the cube the last layer of the cube apparently so well yeah now you know that this is the way for it to be solved the first two layers of the cube to be solved now let's do this thing one more time so let's first scramble it again Uh, I think that's fair enough. Now we form the cross. Okay, now we have the cross formed, and now we do the first two layers once more. So first, I'll go with the blue and orange, and I look at the blue and orange edge piece. So I just bring it to the top, up down. And 
one is already in its place. I hope I'm not being too fast. And uh, this has blue and red, so it goes like this. And the blue is over here, the color on the top, and this is different, so of course. these uh, two cubes sold now these two more blocks are to be sold now these both pieces are together but they are not aligned properly they are differently aligned if they would have been in the proper pair then we would have been lucky but we are not so first we have to break them apart now now they are broken apart they form an L now we take a look it has to, it has to go over here has colors in this direction so it moves like this and it has both the colors same which is a bingo for us so just put it down turn it put it back up turn it again this has to go over here this is the free piece so we put it on top of it we just put it up like that join the white and it's done only one pair is left and that is the red green and white so we'll look at the corner piece that goes in this place that's over here and again both the pieces are together but they are not properly aligned so we have to break them again now both the colors are different this is a really uh, good case for us because again the colors are different so all we have to do is just bring it to that direction so really easy. oh I did something not required <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, that's 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 about it. I mean, yeah, that's how you solve the two layers, the first two layers of the Rubik's cube. Um, I hope I was of some help to you guys who were trying to learn the F2 method. Uh, I think this video has already become too long. Uh, too long. Mm, I think it might still appear to be confusing to a lot of people that are watching this video right now, but you don't need to worry about that too much. I mean. You know, as I said in my previous video at the ending, you should practice, practice and practice, just keep on practicing. And believe me, all these things that are appearing to be hard to you right now actually will become very easy for you later on. I mean, yeah, they really will be. And I guess you should give it a try later on. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. As always, guys, thanks for watching the video. And if you liked it, please click that subscribe button and give that like button a click. Also, I'm going to release another video the next week, which is going to be the third in the installment. It's going to be about the OLL or orienting the last layer, and we are getting closer. So, don't forget to check it out and stay tuned.